All right, so on to the next one here. This is a, uh, a Fender F310 12 string. I believe it's from 1992 when I looked up the serial number and whatnot. Um, when I got it, this thing was in real bad shape. Um, bunch of broken strings. Uh, the action was ridiculously high. And it had about a quarter inch thick of dust. And, um, yeah, it took a long time cleaning it and kind of like hand buffing it kind of back to a good shine. Like it had never been like that. Whoever owned it before me, they stored it in a really bad spot. But, uh, yeah, I did a bunch of work to it and got it back to playing condition. Um, let's see. Not really a whole lot to say about this one. Um, I had to <clears throat> had to take the bridge out and then sand it on a piece of sandpaper, you know, flat on a table and just going back and forth, making sure to put even pressure on it. And I ended up going a little too low on this side, so I folded up a piece of paper and stuck that under this uh, this string here to raise it up a bit. And then on the next string change, I'll put some paper underneath that, or some type of like shim, and get it back up where it needs to be. This this side was just a little too far down, not too big of an issue. And then I got these uh, these brass bridge pins on uh, Amazon, and man, they're the diameter of them are too small, and they literally poop right back out. So. Yeah, and when I got the guitar, it was missing two pins. So I found this one, wedged that in there. The brass pin set I got ended up not working because they were too skinny and they pop right back out. So to make it work, I um, you know turned it to where the notch was not aiming towards the string and then really goosed it in there. Um, yeah, so... It works when you like wedge it and use it like it's not supposed to be wedged, but it works. Um, but yeah, when I go to change out the strings to my next set, I'm going to go through and redo all this. And put a shim under that and fix that properly. And But yeah, uh, Fender 12 string F310. Um... Yeah, I mean, it, it's a great sounding guitar. Uh, maybe one of these days I'll do a video and upload how this thing sounds. I love the sound of 12 strings. But, alright, on to the next one. Uh, see you in the next one.